Maggie from Personal Euphoria and today we're going to go over some exercises that both strengthen and stretch the wrists. So the wrists tend to be a surprisingly problem area for people that they don't necessarily notice until they try to do arm work like push-ups or something where you, or even a straight arm plank where you have to support your body weight and they could hold longer or do more push-ups but it's their wrists that are bothering them. So if you have arthritis or something like that, just getting as much movement in your wrists and getting them to move is, is an exercise for you, right? So you could roll the wrists and bend without any weight and just knowing that that's your range of motion. You want mobility in the wrists, kind of in every and any direction. Um, if you do any of these stretches and it's painful, you don't feel right, or if you, if you have any uh, wrist surgeries, these may not be a good option for you. Uh, you could check our carpal tunnel video um, for some more specific information that might be beneficial for you, especially if you're coming out of some kind of surgery. So first of all, we're gonna start with a gentle stretch. You're gonna take your fingers and use one hand to pull them down so that you're stretching like the top of your hand into your forearm. And you would hold this stretch for 15 to 30 seconds. Then you would do the reverse of that. So you'll use your own hand to pull your hands back, stretching where your palm goes into your wrist, the opposite side of your forearm. And you would do this on each side and hold for 15 to 30 seconds up to three times, okay? So you get to completely control the pressure. That's the place to start. When that is pretty fine, you're not getting enough of a stretch or you want more of a stretch, you can use, be on all fours and stretch here. So coming up onto all fours, you might not feel a stretch just here, but you might. If that's where you're stretching, stay there. Otherwise, you can put your weight forward towards your fingers and rock back. Only taking it as far as you feel a stretch but no strain, right? So this can be gentle. And you could rock forward and back here, or you could hold it wherever you feel that stretch. Stay for maybe up to 15 seconds, but if it's too much, ease out of it and force nothing. The next one's going to become pretty intense. So if you don't like it or if it gives you a funny feeling like it's going to hurt your wrist, go back to this version where you press and pull the hand down from the top of the hand down. Otherwise, we're going to put the back of your hand on the floor. Now you can do one or both sides, but you might feel really unstable and really uncomfortable and that's okay. Don't feel like you have to force that. So you'll do fingertips back, either one or both, one at a time or both at the same time. And if you want more of a stretch, you could lean back a little bit, but it's not gonna be big, right? So very, very gentle here, forcing nothing. Then our final option is to turn your fingers towards your thighs. And this will be a pretty intense stretch, but again, if you want more, a little pull back only working within a range that feels safe. You might come into this position and go, I'm not ready to be here yet. And maybe you start with your fingers out to the sides and you work to get them pointing back to your thighs. It does not all have to come at once. And if you force your body too fast, uh, it won't respond well and you could hurt yourself. Uh, next, we're gonna do some wrist strengtheners. And for that, you're gonna want um, gentle one or two pound weights or a soup can. And again, if this is new for you or if you have arthritis and adding these weights is an aggravant, do these movements without the uh, weights, just with your arms. So first we're gonna have the arms out and this is shoulder work already. And you're gonna break at the wrist and pull the wrist up. So the balls or palms are facing each other and we'll do up to eight or 10 of those, okay? Then you're gonna rotate your palms up, break at the wrists, and pull up. So you're working all the muscles in your forearm, stretching when you bend back, and engaging them on the way up, okay? Then you're gonna rotate your palms down, break at the wrists, and bend them back. For whatever your full range of motion is, right? And if your shoulders are getting tired, you can bend the elbows in for all of these and still get the wrist work. But basically, you want to strengthen all the muscles by moving the wrist in a direction where the palms face each other, where the palms face down, and where the palms face up. Always work to your level, let it build. You could start with reps of five and build to reps of 12, or two sets of uh, 10, right? Would probably be as much as you need to do. But if you feel like your wrists are getting in the way, experiment with these exercises, uh, which, whichever ones are best for you right now. 
Have a great day and keep moving.